making big stops, things like that. So I feel like as a defense, we really came together this year. And uh, I think the young guys and the older guys are really gelling really well together. And uh, I think we have one of the best defenses in the country. When you look back over the season as a whole at this point, when do you feel like things sort of turned the corner, per se? In terms of? Like, as a team, I mean, y'all, you know, y'all are like, I guess, what, 5-2 or whatever after the kind of Tennessee game. Right. Like, when do you feel like y'all started clicking in this? Like, why, why did this role maybe start for you? Well, after the ten Tennessee game, we had a players only meeting. I think that really helped. Uh, I think each player looked himself in the mirror and tried to see what they could do better. And I think after that game, I think guys started being more accountable, and I think that really helped turn around the season. How much does it help getting Joe Fouché involved after missing four games to start the season? And how have you seen him progress with this defense and getting, getting chemistry with you all? Yeah, Joe, that's my guy. Um, Joe's very physical at safety. Um, he, he brings a different dimension to the defense because of his tackling ability. I think he's one of the best tacklers we have. Uh, He's very, he communicates well, so, and he's an older guy. I mean, he's a vet, he's played in the SEC, so that helps a lot. Like, when we play guys, I ask Joe, like, when you, have you played against him? What does he do well? Things like that. So I think having him in the back end really has made our defense excel. How much does it help the guys on the back end when the front seven holds them to less than 50 rushing yards? And they've got a pretty good running back up there. Right. Um, the sec I think the secondary loves it. I mean, I love it. I mean, I'm part of the front seven, but, I mean, that was a big emphasis coming into the week, stopping the run. I think the running back they have, he's one of the best in the country. So that was a big emphasis, stopping the run, and we did that. So, I mean, the secondary, we kind of made them one dimensional tonight with throwing the ball. This was a day where a lot of top teams struggled with Tennessee, got beat pretty bad. Right. Talk about the, the focus this team had just to be that efficient and just to go out and just take them out. Mm, that's Coach Kelly. I mean, that's our preparation, staying locked in and focused. Uh, our mental edge, things like that, just making sure that we, we focus on it now, what's important now. What goes into that conversation? He mentioned that, that you guys have that mental edge mm -hmm. message for us that aren't there. Right. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of details. But, I mean, basically he just tells us things that we need to focus on now and not looking ahead and things like that. Uh, getting into your optimal zone. Uh, getting ready for the game, things like that. Don't get too high before the game, too low, things like that. Is it just a pregame speech or is there more to it than just being a pregame uh, speech? I mean, it's really a pregame speech, but it's, it, it happens on Friday before the game. It's not the day of the game. It happens on Friday. Okay. How much do you think that's changed because you guys' goals and maybe expectations have changed as well? So now it's focusing on a new set or a new achievement. Right. I mean, I feel like our goals as a team – were different than, I mean, the media and everyone else's goal. I, we always felt like we had the talent and we had the players to go out here and play great football. We just had to play it together. Did you guys help them with 200 yards under their average running the ball? And I know that's some play calling and where they got in the correct. 